we took this Phoenix Arms HP 22A out to the range yesterday to do a 200 round reliability test and we started to have some issues with the trigger so aside from the ammo issues this was another issue that started to drive us nuts we're gonna go ahead and do a chamber check so you can see that it's clear now we've already cleaned it okay and that's in a separate video but the issue we started having was with the trigger itself nothing 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 so it became almost as if it wouldn't engage but then every once in a while it would engage okay so we're gonna do that again nothing 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 and then it engages so you can't quite tell but the only thing that's happening is when I'm squeezing the grip like this because I'm right-handed it wasn't always engaging so to fix this issue this might be just the simplest fix all you've got to do is remove these two screws oh, got that one and gonna get this one okay pull that uh, grip off now this is the part that's causing the issue so we're gonna go ahead and cock that back oh, let's put that back into its position so that seats in there just like that now what's happening and you could see it there again that's a perfect example let me see if I can get that to show up on the camera so here we have the trigger bar right and this is the disconnector right here I'm gonna put that there okay so that's the disconnector oh, magnetic tip screwdriver anyways let me put this back in there one second it's hard to do it past the camera okay so the issue that we're experiencing is that the hammer the trigger bar excuse me the trigger bar is not engaging the sear which is right there because it's slipping past it so when we are grabbing it if you would when we're grabbing it with our uh, with our hand here we are causing it to get pressure on that and that is what's giving us consistent and you can see it there okay now I'm gonna let the pressure off a little bit see how it's slipping past it it's got to engage it just like that so like I said this may be the simplest fix so for me I decided pretty simple that I'm gonna go ahead and use some thread locker some blue thread locker because those came loose on their own and I wouldn't recommend using red because you'll probably never get it back off but just a tiny dab of the blue thread locker should be more than enough now that we've got it all clean we're gonna go ahead and pop that back on there just like that and taking these little screws here we're just gonna give it just the tiniest little dab and I like to use this gel because it seems to work a lot better for me so just the tiniest little bit there go ahead and pop those back in and this should prevent it from coming loose again so if you're experiencing those issues that would be a good point to or a good place to look and you don't have to tighten those down super tight so just snug them up pretty good and again we're gonna apply just the tiniest little bit to this other one okay actually wipe that in there okay drop it in there and again we're gonna just snug it up so this may be the simplest fix 
And if that's not the issue, you can actually look to see if your trigger bar is bent while you have it off. You can look to see if your sear is worn on the edge or if your disconnector is bent. But as soon as we get this snugged back up just like that, it's not a bad idea while you're doing this to go ahead and do this other side. So again, same process. You don't want to lose these screws, obviously. Go ahead and wipe off some of the excess lube. And just be careful when you're in here. You don't want to bend anything or damage anything. Nothing really too much to worry about, but either way, just kind of be careful. And I can't emphasize enough, always make sure that your firearm, any firearm that you are trying to work on or repair is always unloaded and chamber checked. That way you're safe. Oh. Mm, look at that. So as I talked about it, it decided to actually do it, which is I rubbed it down. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and put just a little bit of thread locker. This Loctite, a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need a whole bunch, just enough. Definitely harder to do this with the camera in the way. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just go ahead and pop that one in there. And that's all there is to it. So now, oh, put it back on fire and consistent with no pressure on the grip. Now that's how it's supposed to function. But beyond the trigger issue that we're experiencing now, we also had quite a few failures and that most likely was the ammunition we're using. So CCI has always been extremely reliable for us, but for whatever reason, lately we've been experiencing a lot more failures than we typically see with the 22s when we're running the CCI.